All right, here we are. So great adjustment. Talked about it before. We got a single safety high. They, they've got 13 personnel in. Okay, and they're just run, running a simple, like, really like a kick play. And they're going to try to exploit this player backside, talking about on the left, because usually that corner stays five yards off and doesn't try to make the, the tackle of the line of scrimmage. But that's not who Keyshawn Nixon is. Now, Keyshawn Nixon's had some issues with tackling, fair enough. But when you put him in this situation, do you want to be aggressive to the ball at the line of scrimmage against 13 personnel? So they cannot, absolutely cannot try to try to break you for those easy five-yard gains on this kick play. Then, hey, man, this is, this is what he was designed to do. Like, this is right up his alley. Great way to start the football game. Usually when you run that play, you're thinking it's a free five-yard gain. Because you're thinking that corner is not going to step up and you're going to run through that tackle and you're going to get at least five falling forward, if not more. So we're getting here double A gap pressures. And I think this is the first third down. And I'm just telling you, they're playing sticks. But you run this, you, you run this third down stuff. And now you got both of these guys can rush the passer. Cooper puts a, I mean, we know Quake can rush. Cooper puts a, uh, a move on a, a running back later on in the game that leaves his, you know, he's punching air. And so now with Wilson, with McDuffie, you start moving these guys in. And you're just forcing the quick throw. I wanted to emphasize that we're collapsing the pocket. We're going straight in. We're not trying to go over the top. We do always fall into that trap a little bit. But just generally speaking, this was, I think, a really good job of containing and having a pass rush plan. We go motion across to, to a uh, really a, just a two by two look with two tight ends. You see Kenny Clark getting in the backfield. Those plays don't stand out on the stat sheet, but that really disrupts this play. Doesn't show in the stats, but we're still talking about, you know, trying to be a penetrating player. Does a great job of beating the down block. And again, just makes it difficult for that running back to get momentum downhill. I think. I think it's fair to say he's ready to start. I mean, based on this last game and really he's the way his his uh, kind of his ascendancy in, in, in game to game improvement, he's he's the real deal. He can play. We knew he could play when watching him in college. Just his speed of play is maybe at the next level of of the other guys. Um, sure, there's some physical things that he needs to adapt for, but you got to take some good with the bad. I remember very specifically when I was in Carolina. And we had Dan Morgan, and Dan was so good. But Dan had um, had a couple of things, and they they brought in John Beeson. John Beeson was a rookie out of Miami, as was Dan. Dan was the I think the Buckus Award winner there, and I think Beeson might have been as well. And Beeson, you know, was was you know he was okay in training camp, but then when the season started, it was like it took like one or two games, and we're like, oh, like he is going to be a star, and he knew it, and he wasn't afraid to say it, and he made sure that we all knew it. And this kid reminds me of that. I don't know what his demeanor is like, but the way he plays, the ferocity, just the intensity towards the ball, like it, he's special. Now, having said that, these plays don't happen without these other two guys. Okay, we split the double team by Carl Brooks, and then Edinbari just stands up the tight end in the hole. Okay, it doesn't work if that guard can get up to the second level. Carl Brooks makes this play. Edinbari makes the cutback. And so he gets, so Cooper gets the, the, the tackle for loss of the tackle line of scrimmage. And he does a great job, but let's not minimize or let's not overlook the dirty work that neither of those guys will get in the stat sheet, but they make that play. Fantastic job. So they show one, bring the other. And this is when you knew, and this is early, game over, man. So he feels a little bit pressured, gets heated up by Quay. Great. Okay, this is what I was talking about. Carl Brooks is not chasing him. He's running to the line of scrimmage, okay? And then Rashawn Gary is chasing him. So two things are happening. They're going to let him roll out and try to make a throw. They just don't want him going downhill. So great job by Carl Brooks of just being smart. Like, I can't outrun you, but I can get to this spot. And then two, Gary almost kills him right here. And the game's over. Like, you just... To put it in perspective, this isn't high school. You just ran to the right sideline and tried to throw the ball to the far left hash. It's game over. You're not winning this game now. 
And just I, I think I say rattled here. So Evan Williams is just outside the box on the line of scrimmage. This is a an a, a run option that they have no business sticking with. You've got to get out of this play if you're uh, if you're Kyler Murray. So I, I think early on they're just rattled. This makes absolutely like this makes no sense. It's two on two. You're never making this. I don't know if he thinks he can he can he beat the rookie, but boy, are you sure good? That was easy as it gets. Sometimes you get in these quarterbacks' heads. I'm not going to say that you know, I know for a fact that was the case, but I can promise you there's a lot of guys getting out of that play. Great job by the Packers. Now, this is a double damn moment for me because there's a there's a handful of plays, and I, these are, I'm as big a fan of these two guys as anybody. But one, we've been talking about penetrating with Kenny and kind of figuring out is it good or bad and when is it good or bad. You get reached here by a guy who's not – is an inferior player to you. Okay. So first of all, you get reached. Now I know you get back in the backfield, but you get reached and that's a problem because you're trying to penetrate and you don't try to press the, you, you press the wrong shoulder. He should be pressing the offense's right shoulder upfield so he can open him up, not the other way around. And then McDuffie does a good job here of getting to the spot and just yeah, feel like you got to make that tackle. So they motion off. This is a, this is going to be a. They do this twice in a row. So they motion off, and they run the same route combination two plays in a row. So you got the double seams, you got the wheel on the outside of the bottom, and you just got the fade on the outside of the top. And they're just trying to pick a safety. And whatever, basically, whatever linebacker doesn't carry, we're going to go to that direction. Okay, so. It's it's a single high beater as long as you know from from time begin. So now they go from trips over. It's empty now, so they've added a player. You can see can't see him at the bottom of the screen. But they've added a player, but they're running the same concept. They've just added the, the fifth receiver. They're just, just going to run back into the middle to occupy the linebacker. But really, we're just trying to you know a lot of people are looking at, at at Jair like what am I supposed to do? But they're running the wheel route. And so we got to get that linebacker to carry right here. Or if, or if they're not playing man, if they're playing zone, McDuffie's got to get back and give some, some options here. But this is a real problem. You see the safety is over to the far hash, even though we've got the three side over here, the heavy side. And so really an easy throw and catch. You see the player at the bottom of the screen. Like there's no way Jerry Alexander can be right here. So good play design. Oh, 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 what? All right, here we go. What was that? Goodness me. Eric Wilson in the game here. 13 personnel. This is what this is one of their answers at the start. We go over. This is just great football here. So <clears throat> penetration now. Back to Kenny. Really disrupting the line of scrimmage. And again, not something that he gets a uh, shows up in the stat sheet. And then Quay, watch Quay here. Punch. Being the aggressor towards the line of scrimmage. Hey, this is unprovoked now. Okay. Punch, separate off that center, come in and make the play. Now, great job by Rashawn Gary on the outside as well of holding up this tight end. Okay, fantastic job. But love that you see Quay Blaine downhill, getting his hands on that center before the center can turn his shoulders and get into him, right? And then having a, a tackle of the line of scrimmage, great job by Kenny. Fantastic, man. Now, the interior of this offensive line is good. They do a nice job, right? But can individual effort sometimes, and we saw it a number of times from, from KC 97, is uh, is going to supersede that. And when you have doubles and you attack a single man, like our guys did, Carl Brooks did on that play before, it really screws up the timing on the on the okay on the second level. This is a bad sign. When your defensive tackle right before the snap is in a two-eye. And he's looking back. I don't know if he's looking at Quay or he's looking over at the other D tackle and going, like, where am I supposed to be going right now? What's the call? And then he tries to loop outside here and doesn't make it. Like, that's no bueno. So, so Quay's not wrong here. We need Carl. I think Carl Brooks is supposed to get over to the outside of the B gap. And uh, he's trying to, you know, Quay's just trying to free his guy up. But because he gets hooked and then pressed, there's a huge lane here. It's probably the run of the day for these guys. Great effort. By Keyshawn trying to get him out of out of bounds there. 
under center play action. Now, this is the one. Uh, Coop, great job accelerating by Cooper. This is the one player where they got over the top. There. You look at the running room here for Kyler Murray. This is one of the few times I thought, oh, they, they, he should just he should have just took off. Luckily, he didn't. Cooper makes a great play. There's an open field tackle that I don't know everybody in the league can make. And again, this is where it just goes downhill for the for the, for the Cardinals. Effort by 94. Closing the door on this. Strip sack. Fumble recovery. One. And then I think we got Evan Williams here on the second one. <laughs> I, spoke, I spoke too soon. So they run a TE. First of all, look at the get off at Kenny compared to everybody else. That's one thing we don't talk about. I, we, I, I've said a little bit when we talk about the, sorry, some of the other guys are having a hard time with um, with the pass rush. But look at the get off. Look how far. Kenny's another yard ahead of everyone else, right? Same snap count, same everything, just doing a better job of timing it. So that's maybe something we need to address some of the other guys. But we run the, the TE here. Gary's, I mean, finally, right? He's going to get his sack and then, whew, I mean, that's just tough. And there's just... I don't know if there's anyone in the league that's catching this guy. I still haven't got, seen the guy get a clean hit. Fantastic job by Evan Williams here. So back-to-back -back big games. Jarrett comes in low, doesn't really try to tackle, but now you just see him like load up that fist, punch right through the ball, turnover number two, and then this is it. Like chaos reigns, man. The game's over. It's 34-13. They're going in. They have a chance to, to not even make the game close, but not make it a laugher. Maybe get up to 20, 21 points. And Murray's trying to tell the running back what the hell the play is. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got it. I, what? Uh, oh, no. Uh, I got to hike the ball. And then what are we doing? I mean, this is the NFL, boys. That's tough. That's tough.